The real story of the zombie island experiments had only just begun. So, it was the morning of day two, and as most of the survivors were still in leather armor, their chances of survival weren't looking too good, until a player named Starkiller helped organize everyone to begin gathering materials and exploring the island. Guys, you need to get farming set up right away! I'm gathering beetroot right now. Yeah, I gather beetroot. Hey guys, there's some armor in this one. The survivors then carefully started mining in groups of five to keep each other safe. Oh, there actually is a spawn. Take the bones, take string. I'm grabbing the redstone, because we can make traps! We also have to worry about scientists. The scientists were much less cautious with their exploration confidently scouting the jungle using their diamond machetes. Hello. Check these barricades out. I think they, they stopped zombies. Is that a shark? Those are sharks. Oh, those are yeah, sharks! Those are shark. Why are they dancing land sharks? Hello? However, these players had no idea that the virus had mutated once again, creating three new extremely dangerous zombies. The minor and mutant minor zombies, which can both break blocks and throw pickaxes at players, and the tank zombie, which has increased health and a ground pound ability. After some more exploring, they then discovered a giant cave entrance leading down to a mine shaft. Okay, are we sure this is a good idea? Like, no, don't go in. Everyone, don't run. go in. Don't go. Okay, never mind. Ah. Oh, oh run. Run the other way. That is. Go back, go back, go back. There's zombies, there's zombies, there's zombies. Oh my god, there's a giant one. There's a giant one. He just threw pickaxes at me. The minor zombies also invaded the caves on the prisoner island, and a group of players were ambushed. Can we fight this? Run, 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 run. Oh, sh. Can they break blocks? They can. Using lava, players skillfully took out all of the minor zombies at once, but even more survivors were about to be in danger as they were approaching a temple that led to a giant underground tomb. Star killer, star killer. Follow me, there's a temple here. I'm going in. He's gonna die. This tomb contained extremely dangerous lava parkour, which players started traversing bravely. However, a mutant miner zombie was waiting for them on the other side, and it threw a barrage of pickaxes, breaking the block below a player, who met an unfortunate end. I just fell in, what? The other players just about managed to escape with the loot, obtaining 20 diamonds to split between them. And on the way back to their treehouse, they also found a panda village, which was a lot less dangerous to explore. Yo, guys! There's a panda temple from the trailer! Let's go, baby! I got more diamonds! Over in the mineshaft, the scientists had just cleared out the zombies, and they were finally safe. So they explored the connecting caves, finding chests and some diamonds. But this is where everything changed for the scientists, when a scientist named Fbo discovered an extremely rare resource. Wait, 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 check this out, check this out. There's a gray dripstone right here. Wait, look at it, yeah. it's dripping green. All right, guys, whatever you do, don't break this. This is probably important. Look, it's dripping green. We probably need, let's let's see if we can get a cauldron or something. Players set up a cauldron below this mystical dripstone to try and collect it into a bottle, but they were ambushed by explosive zombies. Zombies, TNT zombies. They're gonna blow up our nitric acid collectors. Oh god, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so low. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The cauldron then filled up, so the scientists experimented by right-clicking with a bottle. I got one. I got an antidote bottle. Let's go. Creating a brand new item called an antidote potion, which they tested on their infected teammates. Throw the potion on him. I got him. He's back. Let's go. By the way, there's a 50% chance he turns into a super zombie. Oh my god. No I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh. This antidote fluid could be used on any zombie, turning them back into a human, meaning they had not only discovered a way to cure infected scientists, but they could even increase their numbers with brand new players, and were now in by far the strongest position for surviving on this island. You know what I think we should do? We should build an army by reviving like 20 zombies onto our team right now. Good plan, good plan. Half of the scientists continued producing antidote potions, while the rest decided to set up a camp in a great strategic position next to the only bridge between these two islands. Yo, Wait, do you think this yo. goes to the survivors? We will kill every last survivor. All right, that should let them know to stay away from our side. The survivors, who were still equipped with leather, were fortunately quite far away from this bridge, making an attack from the scientists unlikely. Welcome to the party, man. Daytime, we got a diamond the machete on the boat. Daytime, we stormed the prison. All right, everybody, get ready for to jump from over here, okay? Three, two, one, on jump. the motherland! Wait, where are we going? Unaware they were venturing into extremely dangerous territory, the survivors started traveling towards the prison, planning to turn it into a new base. So they ran inside, blocked off the doorways, and started collecting stone bricks from the floor. While scouting for more materials, a player spotted the bridge and decided he was going to investigate, not knowing the scientists were on the other side. Guys, guys, we don't want to go alone. Who wants to come to uh, that bridge with me? I'll go, I'll go. Okay. Look. Who's that? Oh, there's people over there. Yeah, there's people over there. they're building a camp here. We will kill every last survivor. Run, 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 run
Rod, we need to leave the prison. We need to go. If the scientists are that close, we need to go. The survivors were rightly terrified of the scientists, as they had a huge difference in equipment. But currently, both civilizations were pretty occupied with producing antidote, collecting materials, and the slight zombie problem that had just gotten worse as the virus had mutated once again, releasing mutant zombies as well as mutant drowned zombies. The virus also now travels through the air, and now players who die of any cause will be infected and turned into zombies. Guys, guys, I just saw something crazy in the water, okay? There is? Oh, cool. Yeehaw! Oh! Oh, uh, run! Oh! Oh! Lots of players now had a chance to combat these new zombies by gaining materials from a supply drop in the New World event, Camp Building. Each civilization would now have to work together to construct a camp that would protect them from zombies, earning a different tier of supply drop depending on how the staff members rank their build. So both civilizations picked a location and begun building. Oh, How are we meant to build a camp here? here? This is like the worst Look spot down. to be in. Yeah, the survivors shortly realized the jungle wasn't the best place to construct a camp, so they migrated up to the treehouse village and decided to start building their new home. While the scientists were building their camp, rumors about the antidote started spreading around. Guys, we have never seen the virus been revived. I've been revived. Whoa, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, if you find a zombie, don't kill it. I can turn it into a player. No, it's a mess. Yeah, no way. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'll do it in front of you. If there's a normal zombie spawns here, I'll turn into a player, but... Yeah, but guys, we really don't know the long-term effects of the yeah. antidote. <laughs> My joke about side effects earlier was taken very seriously by a group of players named Grox, Evbo, and Seawatts, who then constructed a huge sign symbolizing the beginning of a new movement called the Anti-Cure. Oh boy, what have I started? Hey guys, you gotta listen up. I recently took the antidote, and I'm feeling, I'm feeling weird. My vision's hella blurry, and I'm like, I'm feeling really sick right now. This is that cure that they made. Don't... Don't trust it, I'm telling you. See what's then spread even more propaganda by giving his friend a pufferfish and pretending the antidote had poisoned him. Everyone's right. Oh no! Oh, it's evil, burn, burn him! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Grox is having side effects. Oh, yo! Almost every scientist now believed the antidote had side effects and convinced they had to eliminate this threat. A mob of players started storming towards the antidote cave. We will destroy this evil no. once and for all. We don't know how bad it is. We don't know if it could kill someone. Oh yes, perfect, Same. perfect. Yeah, this all has to go. Will Guys, someone give me the pickaxe to, to destroy the source? Yes. All this has to go. Yeah, all this has to go. We need to keep it locked in it's a It's eradicated. A container. Currently, the two antidote drip stones were held by Seawatt and Evbo, but their true motives were very different to the other scientists. Now that all of the power was in their hands, they started discussing their true plan in secret. We should start like selling them for, for really high profits. The problem is like the people who need it aren't there to buy it. We so need to create some demand it looks like yeah yeah we oh we should kill everybody after a long journey through the jungle they arrived back at the laboratory planning to loot the chest room they spotted before the lab breach in the highly confidential and dangerous basements oh there's zombies down here as they were venturing further into the lab the virus mutated once again creating an extremely dangerous zombie pillager as well as a zombie ravager both twice as strong as their vanilla alternatives and some of which were currently waiting for them in the basement there's so many down there there's, there's so we gotta block Arrgh. it off let's block it off yeah. all right I'm just going through. Just climb it, climb I it. <laughs> I'm stuck, no! All right, I'm distracting him. Oh, no! I made it to the chest room. Oh, there's diamond armor. This loot room contained a huge amount of gear, making both Evbo and Seawatt extremely powerful. They also spotted a mysterious chest that contained the rescue beacon materials that the survivors needed. Beacon materials. Contacts the outside world. Do not place. Yo, we better not tell the survivors about this thing. Yeah, good plan. Their plan to weaken the scientists and sell the antidote for items and power was slowly falling into place. Here, just I'll split up in case I die somehow. And you guys can revive me on the other island. I think what we should do, guys, is try to lure people into a room one by one and just like to kill them before they can even like into a cave or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good plan. One by one.